Hello and welcome to Slow to Fast 1. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. This is the first video in a series where we'll be looking at ways to incrementally improve the efficiency of reconciliations or list comparisons. And a reconciliation or list comparison is basically when we have two different lists and we ask ourselves a question like, which items are on both lists? or which items are on list one, but not on list two. So for this illustration, I'm gonna use a simple bank reconciliation, which basically means I have a list of all the checks that I wrote, it's called the check register, and I have a list that I downloaded from my banking website, which is all the checks that have posted or cleared the bank. And so I have a simple question. Which items on here appear over here? One way to do that, of course, would be manually, and what we might do is simply look for check 1001 over here. And if we found it, we might mark this somehow, uh, maybe with yes, or maybe we might note it with a cell fill. And then we'd look for the next one, 1002, is it here? No, okay, fine, 1003, is it here? Yes, 1004, is it here? Yes, and so on and so forth. Well, that would be the manual way. But when the lists are relatively short, and when the lists both appear on a single worksheet, then we can use conditional formatting. What that looks like is this. We select this range, hold down the control key on our keyboard, and also select this range. And then we go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, duplicate values. And when we select that, we get the duplicate values dialog, and here we can say identify the duplicate values, those values that appear more than once or in both lists. And then we can pick which type of format we want to apply. Um, pick anything you want. You could go with custom. I'll just go with yellow. And this is going to be a way to identify those checks that are on both lists that, it, that cleared the bank. Alternatively, if we wanted to get the list of checks that haven't cleared the bank, affectionately known as outstanding checks, then we can select unique. And now this is gonna be a list of the items that appear only once. And in this case, it's those checks that um, appear only in the check register and not in the bank activity. Once we figure out which rule we want, we click okay, and then we've got it, okay? So conditional formatting, is this, this conditional formatting approach works well when the lists are relatively short, so we're not scrolling down and when the lists appear on both, uh, or when both lists appear on a single worksheet. In the next post, we're gonna look at another option for improving uh, the efficiency in these kinds of reconciliations that work really well when the lists are bigger um, or when the lists are on different worksheets, okay? Hey, thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University. 